I can tell you also that a leadership is not about entertainment. It is not about building a brand. It is not about virtue signaling. Leadership is about producing results for the people that you represent. And, and Iowa has produced results, and Florida has produced results. And here are just some of the results that we've been able to produce in these last few years. We have banned land purchases by the CCP in the state of Florida. No farmland, no land near military bases, nothing. We have signed legislation to kneecap ESG in the state of Florida. No ESG in the pensions, no social credit scores, and no woke banking discriminating against conservative Floridians. We have enacted the heartbeat bill, which are the strongest pro-life protections in the modern history of Florida. And yes, as our man said, uh, we are also embracing the importance of fatherhood in the state of Florida. We work on our initiative with um, uh, Tony Dungy, who is a coach for the Colts and for the Bucks. He lives in Tampa, and he's got uh, charities that he runs called All Pro Dads that we've worked with uh, before we did the bigger initiative. And Tony will tell the story that when he was coach at Tampa, you know, he's, a, he's a devout Christian. He uh, wanted to go minister in the prison, so he went to minister in the prison in Florida, and he came out of that and he said, you know, what, what I re realized is none of them were in prison because they were poor, because of their race, or these other things. They were all in prison because not one of them had a father in the home growing up. And so if you have a father in the home, or even if you have a, a kid that has a mentor, somebody that takes an interest in their life, that could be the difference between them being a very productive citizen or ending up in jail or prison themselves. And so we understand the importance of that, and we understand our kids need it. And part of being family friendly is we understand that it's not always easy financially to be raising kids or even to be bringing kids into this world. And so we want to make sure, especially in an era of Biden inflation, that we're providing relief to Florida families. Now, we don't have an income tax in the state of Florida. You all should try it sometime. It's good. I know your governor is trying to get there. And so you know, we, we, we can't, there's no rates to cut there. So we try to figure out what, what can we do to make an impact. And so what we've done with our sales tax is we've permanently eliminated sales tax on every single baby item. No tax on cribs, on strollers, on diapers, on wipes, on clothes, none of it. You get to bring babies into this world tax-free in the state of Florida. And that's going to save parents. I, trust me, the amount of diapers we went through with our three kids, that's a lot of money. You know, uh, my wife, she's going to come up here and say a few things in a minute. Um, we started as governor 2019 with a two-year-old and a nine-month-old. You know, our kids now are six, five, and three. So when I signed this in the law, she said, that's a great bill. Why didn't you do that in 2019? That would have saved us a lot of money. Well, we didn't have Biden inflation in 2019. That's why. So we've, uh, we're happy to stand with uh, families there. We're also happy to stand with parents by enacting universal school choice, education savings accounts for every parent to send their kid to the school of their choice. When I became governor, we inherited a liberal state Supreme Court that was split four to three, liberal to conservative justices. Uh, I have since been able to appoint a total of seven conservative justices to the Florida Supreme Court, and we now have the most conservative state Supreme Court in the United States. We have fortified Second Amendment rights in Florida by enacting constitutional carry legislation. We've enacted tough on crime policies so that we make sure people are not getting out without having to post bail. Uh, we make sure that people are dealing fentanyl, end up in prison for a long time. And we have now authorized the death penalty for pedophiles who prey on our youth.
We also understand you're not going to have safe communities if you do not support the people that wear the uniform. And so we back the blue. We support the men and women of law enforcement. We don't defund the police in Florida. We, we back the police. And in fact, for the last three years, uh, we have enacted $1,000 bonuses for every single sworn law enforcement officer and firefighter in the entire state of Florida. That's hundreds of thousands of people that have gotten checks. And we see how poorly they're treated and the police are treated in New York and Chicago, these places. And so we said, you know what? You want to be appreciated? If you're qualified, come serve in Florida. And so anyone that we recruit from another state, uh, on the first day, they get a $5,000 signing bonus because we back what they're doing. We've also led the fight against these progressive prosecutors funded by people like George Soros. When we had a prosecutor who said that he was not going to enforce laws in Florida that he didn't like, I removed him from his post. He is gone. We've enacted policies to fight illegal immigration, like banning sanctuary cities, cracking down on human smuggling, sending our National Guard to help with the border, and even transporting 50 illegal aliens to beautiful Martha's Vineyard. Florida is the first state, and I bet you Iowa will follow, Texas will probably follow, but we are the first state to formally and completely eliminate so-called DEI from our public university system. They say it's diversity, equity, and inclusion, but the way it's, uh, way it's uh, uh, done, it really is ideology that's being imposed on the student body and on the professors the way it's actually implied, applied DEI better stands for discrimination, exclusion, and indoctrination, and that has no place in our public institutions. We have also led the way on election integrity. We have banned ballot harvesting in Florida. We've banned Zuckerbucks in Florida. We require voter ID in Florida. And if you look at the last two election cycles, 2020 and 2022, we're counting over 8 million votes by midnight on election night and producing results. Imagine that. We've also enacted the strongest protection for medical freedom, such as banning COVID shot mandates for school children, for anybody working in a job, banning vaccine passports, and even banning gain-of-function research. We're the first state to do that 